What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here once again checking in with a uh, pretty good sized earthquake striking out here right along the Pacific Ring of Fire. This 6.2 earthquake striking uh, like I mentioned right there on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire and it is super super deep. 6.2 no tsunami expected due to the magnitude and the um, the major depth of this earthquake here. Very very deep earthquake. I'm not even joking that's a uh, that's a good one. That's super deep. So some major movement going on here on the globe. This following that 6.7, now downgraded to a 6.6 .6 magnitude quake that struck just south of Japan uh, earlier this morning here. So some major movement um, taking place here uh, just today. What it all means? Well, I think we're still kind of in that... Uh, um, maybe we're getting out of it now that little phase that fr phase of uh, just moderate to minor activity you know it's been a while since we've seen some large scale large magnitude deep movement uh, that appears to be the uh, taking over today uh, I guess you know it's kind of kind of strange here anyway specific point let's go ahead and check out specifics of where this earthquake struck out here and you can see it taking place way out there. Let's see here. Let's zoom this back in just a tad bit here. One second. Of course, you got the Pacific Ring of Fire right here, the western part of this edge here. North Pacific Ocean. Kind of in that weird spot again there. It's not really necessarily on any plate boundaries there, any plate. Uh, major plate boundaries there. It's ways away here. We're looking at uh, oh man, a couple hundred miles or so from this uh, area near the uh, Marina Trench area. Now, wow, wow, that's pretty crazy here. I'll have to do some investigating in this uh, for the earthquake video update later on, but uh, you can see that right there, that red circle indicating that most recent 6.2 earthquake there at 614 kilometers. We'll see if they uh, if they upgrade, downgrade this, you know, they've been doing a lot of that recently, the USGS that is, uh, but nonetheless, a deep, deep earthquake, and that's kind of showing up here on some of these seismograph stations here, you can see that right there on Mammoth Lakes, that's a station right here, picking it up pretty nicely, that's the original signature, so 6.2, way out there in the Pacific, showing that uh, signature is kind of interesting there, but that's got to do along with the depth of the earthquake as well. Uh, could get interesting folks here west coast west coast of course we've been having some earthquake activity out here uh, of course all throughout nevada right that's been ongoing for quite some time idaho um nothing major just kind of been some minor activity here that all may change now that we're seeing some uh deeper i mean deep super deep activity today now it this area right here is prone to deep earthquakes, but it's been quite a while, like I said, since we've seen something major and that deep up here in this part of the globe here. 6.6 .6, well west of here, and now this 6.2 uh, striking out here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, that trench right here, or just west of the, the uh, this trench area. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail later on this uh, evening here when I do the earthquake video update here. We'll take a look at that specific area in the meantime uh, The earth is going to continue to uh, Well, it's going to show some P waves out here for quite some time with the depth of that earthquake there Stay safe out there folks. Things are getting very very interesting there. So we'll chat you guys a little bit later tonight